this video we are going to see Dan Foss VLT VFD drive FC 301 and 302 warnings and alarms 1 to 10. Welcome to Controls and Systems YouTube channel. Warning 1, 10 volts low. The control card voltage is less than 10 volt from terminal 50. Remove some of the load from terminal 50, as the 10 volt supply is overloaded. Maximum 15 milliamps or minimum 590 ohm. A short circuit in a connected potentiometer or incorrect wiring of the potentiometer can cause this condition. Troubleshooting methods. Remove the wiring from terminal 50. If the warning clears, the problem is with the wiring. If the warning does not clear, replace the control card. Warning. Alarm 2. Live zero error. This warning or alarm only appears if programmed by the user in parameter 601 live zero timeout function. The signal on one of the analog inputs is less than 50% of the minimum value programmed for that input. Broken wiring or faulty device sending the signal can cause this condition. Troubleshooting methods. Check connections on all the analog input terminals. Control card terminals 53 and 54 for signals. Terminal 55 common. VLT general purpose I, OMCB 101 terminals 11 and 12 for signals. Terminal 10 common. VLT analog I, OMCB 109 terminals 1, 3, 5 for signals. Terminals 2, 4, 6 common. Check that the frequency converter programming and switch settings match the analog signal type. Perform input terminal signal test. Warning. Alarm 3. No motor. No motor is connected to the output of the frequency converter. Warning. Alarm 4. Mains phase loss. A phase is missing on the supply side, or the mains voltage imbalance is too high. This message also appears for a fault in the input rectifier. Options are programmed in parameter 1412 response to mains imbalance. Troubleshooting methods. Check the supply voltage and supply currents to the frequency converter. Warning 5. DC link voltage high. The DC link voltage is higher than the high voltage warning limit. The limit depends on the frequency converter voltage rating. The unit is still active. Warning 6. DC link voltage low. The DC link voltage is lower than the low voltage warning limit. The limit depends on the frequency converter voltage rating. The unit is still active. Warning. Alarm 7. DC over voltage. If the DC link voltage exceeds the limit, the frequency converter trips after some time. Troubleshooting methods. Connect a brake resistor. Extend the ramp time. Change the ramp type. Activate the functions in parameter 210 brake function. Increase parameter 1426 trip delay at inverter fault. Warning. Alarm 8. DC under voltage. If the DC link voltage drops below the under voltage limit, the frequency converter checks if a 24 volt DC backup supply is connected. If no 24 volt DC backup supply is connected, the frequency converter trips after a fixed time delay. The time delay varies with unit size. Troubleshooting methods. Check that the supply voltage matches the frequency converter voltage. Perform an input voltage test. Perform a soft charge circuit test. Warning. Alarm 9. Inverter overload. The frequency converter has run with more than 100% overload for too long and is about to cut out. The counter for electronic thermal inverter protection issues a warning at 98% and trips at 100% with an alarm. The frequency converter cannot be reset until the counter is below 90%. Troubleshooting methods. Compare the output current shown on the LCP with the frequency converter rated current and measured motor current show the thermal frequency converter load on the LCP and monitor the value. When running above the frequency converter continuous current rating, the counter increases. When running below the frequency converter continuous current rating, the counter decreases. Warning. Alarm 10. Motor overload temperature. According to the Electronic Thermal Protection, ETR, the motor is too hot. 
Select one of these options. The frequency converter issues a warning or an alarm when the counter is greater than 90% if parameter 190 motor thermal protection is set to warning options. The frequency converter trips when the counter reaches 100% if parameter 190 motor thermal protection is set to trip options. The fault occurs when the motor runs with more than 100% overload for too long. Troubleshooting methods, check for motor overheating. Check if the motor is mechanically overloaded. Check that the motor current set in parameter 124 motor current is correct. Ensure that the motor data in parameters 120 to 125 is set correctly. If an external fan is in use, check that it is selected in parameter 191 motor external fan. Running AMA in parameter 129 automatic motor adaptation, AMA tunes the frequency converter to the motor more accurately and reduces thermal loading. Will we hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching our video we will meet in another good videos.